The Pentagon just dropped news that has military experts around the world scrambling to understand what America has been quietly building. While everyone thought the B-21 Raider program was moving at a steady pace, classified documents and insider reports reveal something extraordinary. The U.S. Air Force isn't just testing one revolutionary bomber. They're operating multiple aircraft in a production surge that nobody saw coming. The second B-21 Raider is about to take flight, but that's not the shocking part. What's stunning, military analysts, is the sheer scale of what Northrop Grumman has been assembling in secret. Nearly 40 of these sixth-generation stealth bombers are now in various stages of construction, representing the largest leap in American strategic air power since World War II. Defense contractors are calling it impossible, yet it's happening right before our eyes. Welcome to Jet Insight, where we break down the military developments that shape our world. The B-21 Raider program just revealed capabilities that are rewriting the rules of modern warfare, and what you're about to discover will change how you think about American air superiority forever. The first clue something big was happening came from satellite imagery over Palmdale, California. Aviation photographers noticed increased security around Plant 42, the same facility that built the legendary B-2 Spirit. But this time, the activity was different. Multiple aircraft shapes could be seen under protective coverings, far more than the program had publicly announced. When General Thomas Boussier, head of Air Force Global Strike Command, casually mentioned that a second developmental test aircraft would fly shortly, he revealed just the tip of an enormous iceberg. If you're excited about America's military dominance, type PROUD in the comments below. The second B-21 Raider represents more than just another test aircraft. It signals that the United States has quietly mastered the production of the world's most advanced stealth bomber, while potential adversaries are still struggling with prototypes. China's H-20 bomber remains years from operational deployment, with limited intelligence suggesting they may have flown a single prototype by 2023. Russia's PAKDA stealth bomber program is mired in delays and funding issues, with no confirmed flying prototypes as of 2025. Meanwhile, America is approaching 40 B-21 Raiders in production. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is how Northrop Grumman solved the production challenges that plagued previous stealth programs. The B-2 Spirit, magnificent as it was, became a cautionary tale of limited production. Only 21 B-2s were ever built, primarily due to astronomical costs and complex manufacturing processes. The B-21 program learned from those mistakes, implementing revolutionary production techniques that have defense experts calling it a game-changer for American manufacturing. The key breakthrough came through digital twin technology. Before the first B-21 ever left the ground, engineers created virtual replicas of every system, every component, every manufacturing process. This allowed them to identify and solve problems in the digital world before they became expensive delays on the factory floor. The result? Software certification time was cut in half compared to previous programs. Manufacturing hours were reduced by nearly a third in some areas. Most importantly, the production line was designed from day one to build these aircraft efficiently and at scale. Tom Jones, president of Northrop Grumman Aeronautic Systems, revealed that the company is learning how to build B-21 better and at scale. This isn't just corporate speak. It represents a fundamental shift in how America builds its most advanced military aircraft. The B-21 production line uses augmented reality to guide technicians, advanced robotics for precision assembly, and artificial intelligence to optimize manufacturing processes. It's like comparing a modern automobile factory to the craftsman workshops of a century ago. The financial commitment behind this program is staggering and demonstrates America's determination to maintain air superiority. The Department of the Air Force allocated over $10 billion to the B-21 program for fiscal year 2026 alone. This includes procurement, research and development, modernization and military construction. But here's what's truly impressive. Despite this massive investment, the B-21 is designed to be affordable compared to previous stealth programs. While the B-2 costs nearly $45 billion for just 21 aircraft, the B-21 targets a unit cost of approximately $550 million in 2010 currency. 
critics point to Northrop Grumman's reported losses on the program, over $2 billion as of 2025. But industry experts understand these are strategic investments in production capability. The company deliberately absorbed higher upfront costs to establish manufacturing processes that will become profitable once full rate production begins. It's the same approach used by successful technology companies, lose money initially to dominate the market long term. The second B-21 Raider's imminent first flight represents a crucial milestone in validating the aircraft's systems and capabilities. The first aircraft has been flying approximately twice per week since its maiden flight in November 2023, accumulating valuable test data with each sortie. Flight test teams can now assess aircraft performance in real time, rather than waiting for post-mission analysis, dramatically accelerating the test program timeline. What sets the B-21 apart from every previous bomber is its open systems architecture. Unlike older aircraft that were essentially locked into their original configuration, the Raider was designed for continuous upgrades. New sensors, weapons, and defensive systems can be integrated without costly overhauls or redesigns. This means the B-21 will remain cutting edge throughout its expected 50-year service life, adapting to threats that don't even exist today. The stealth technology in the B-21 represents decades of advancement beyond the B-2 spirit. While specific details remain classified, aviation experts note that the Raider's materials and design techniques create an aircraft nearly invisible to even the most sophisticated radar systems. More importantly, these stealth materials are far more durable than previous generations, requiring significantly less maintenance between missions. The B-2 was famous for its hangar queen reputation, needing extensive care to maintain its radar evading properties. The B-21 was engineered as a daily flyer with minimal maintenance requirements. The aircraft's range and payload capabilities remain classified, but defense analysts estimate performance similar to or exceeding the B-2 spirit. This means the ability to strike targets anywhere on Earth without refueling, carrying both conventional and nuclear weapons. The flexible weapons bays can accommodate current munitions and future systems not yet developed. From precision-guided conventional bombs to strategic nuclear warheads, the B-21 provides American commanders with unmatched flexibility in mission planning. Beyond its bombing capabilities, the B-21 serves as a sophisticated intelligence collection platform. Its advanced sensors can gather electronic intelligence, monitor communications, and provide real-time battlefield awareness to ground commanders. In many scenarios, the aircraft might never drop a weapon, instead serving as an invisible eye in the sky that enables other forces to strike with precision. The strategic implications of this production surge cannot be overstated. For decades, America's bomber force has been aging and shrinking. The B-52 Stratofortress, while continuously upgraded, first flew in 1952. The B-1 Lancer has been plagued with maintenance issues and limited stealth capability. The B-2 Spirit, though revolutionary, was produced in numbers too small for sustained operations. The B-21 Raider changes this equation fundamentally. Military experts are already calling for expanded production beyond the currently planned 100 aircraft. Defense analysts at the Heritage Foundation argue that the United States needs at least 200 B-21s to effectively deter both China and Russia simultaneously. The Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments suggests nearly 300 bombers might be necessary for sustained operations in multiple theaters. These aren't abstract numbers. They represent real strategic requirements. A conflict in the Pacific would demand sustained bomber operations across vast distances. Meanwhile, maintaining deterrence in Europe requires a credible nuclear and conventional strike capability. With only 20 operational B-2s, America currently lacks the bomber force size needed for these overlapping missions. The B-21 production surge addresses this capability gap directly. The second B-21's upcoming first flight will validate systems integration across multiple aircraft, proving that production aircraft match the performance of the initial test vehicle. This is crucial for building confidence in the manufacturing process and demonstrating that the production line can deliver consistent quality. Each successful test flight brings the program closer to initial operational capability, currently projected for 2027. Air Force Global Strike Command has already begun planning for B-21 integration into operational squadrons. Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota was selected as the first operational location, with construction of new facilities already underway. Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri 
and Dias Air Force Base in Texas will follow as the second and third B-21 locations. These bases will need specialized hangars, maintenance facilities, and security infrastructure to support the world's most advanced bomber. The training program for B-21 crews represents another massive undertaking. Pilots and operators will need to master systems far more sophisticated than any previous aircraft. The good news is that lessons learned from B-2 operations provide a foundation for B-21 training development. Many of the concepts transfer directly, while new capabilities require entirely new procedures and tactics. What makes this development particularly exciting for military aviation enthusiasts is how it demonstrates American engineering and manufacturing excellence. The B-21 program succeeded where many predicted failure. Defense programs are notorious for delays, cost overruns, and performance shortfalls. The Raider program, while not without challenges, has consistently met major milestones and demonstrated the promised capabilities. The international response to B-21 developments reveals the program's strategic importance. Allied nations are expressing interest in potential cooperation or procurement opportunities. Meanwhile, potential adversaries are accelerating their own military modernization programs in response to American bomber capabilities. The B-21 has become a benchmark that other nations measure their own strategic programs against. Looking ahead, the B-21 program will likely influence American defense manufacturing for decades. The production techniques developed for the Raider can be applied to other advanced aircraft programs. The workforce skills and manufacturing infrastructure represent national assets that extend far beyond a single weapon system. This is industrial capability that cannot be easily replicated or replaced. For those of us who appreciate military excellence and American technological leadership, the B-21 program represents everything our armed forces do best. Innovation, determination, and the ability to deliver results when the stakes are highest. The second, B-21 Raider's imminent first flight is just one milestone in a program that will define American air superiority for generations. The numbers tell the story of American commitment to defense excellence. Nearly 40 aircraft in production, over $10 billion in annual funding, hundreds of suppliers across 40 states contributing to the program, thousands of highly skilled workers building the world's most advanced bomber. This is more than a weapons program. It's a demonstration of what America can accomplish when we commit to excellence. As the second B-21 Raider prepares for its maiden flight, military experts worldwide are taking notice. The aircraft represents not just advanced technology, but proof that America can still manufacture complex systems at scale. In an era when some question American industrial capability, the B-21 program provides a definitive answer. The stealth bomber's role extends beyond its immediate military applications. It serves as a powerful deterrent against potential adversaries who might consider aggressive actions against American interests or allies. The knowledge that B-21 Raiders can strike targets anywhere in the world, at any time, with minimal warning, fundamentally changes strategic calculations for any potential enemy. Are you a military veteran or military enthusiast? We'd love to have you join our community of veterans, active service members, and military supporters. Your experience and insights make our discussions even better. The technical achievements of the B-21 program deserve recognition from anyone who appreciates engineering excellence. Creating an aircraft that combines stealth, range, payload, and maintainability required solving problems that many experts considered impossible. The fact that Northrop Grumman not only solved these challenges, but did so while establishing an efficient production line represents a triumph of American innovation. As we watch the second B-21 Raider prepare for its first flight, we're witnessing history in the making. This aircraft will serve American forces well into the 2070s, adapting and evolving to meet threats we can't yet imagine. The program represents the best of American military industrial capability and our commitment to maintaining the peace through strength. The B-21 Raider program proves that reports of American decline are greatly exaggerated. When challenged by rising powers and evolving threats, America responds with innovation, determination, and the industrial capacity to build world-class military systems. The second B-21's upcoming flight is just the beginning of a new chapter in American air superiority. The nearly 40 B-21 Raiders now in production represent more than just numbers. They're symbols of American resolve and capability.
Each aircraft rolling out of the Palmdale facility demonstrates that America remains the world's premier military power, capable of designing, building, and deploying the most advanced weapon systems on Earth. As military enthusiasts and supporters of American defense capabilities, we should take pride in what the B-21 program represents. It's proof that our armed forces continue to attract the best minds, work with the most innovative companies, and deliver results that keep America safe in an increasingly dangerous world. The story of the B-21 Raider is still being written, but each chapter reveals American excellence in action. From the engineers designing revolutionary systems to the workers building them on the factory floor, this program showcases the talent and dedication that make American defense capabilities second to none. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into the B-21 Raider program. If you found this information valuable, please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing for more military insights. Leave a comment sharing your thoughts on America's next generation bomber capabilities. We love hearing from viewers who appreciate military excellence. Until next time, keep watching the skies and supporting the forces that keep us free.